I'm going to show you how to use your human design strategy if you are a manifester. Now, your human design strategy is how you make things happen in the world, how you use your energy for more ease and flow, how you release resistance so you can allow the things that are meant to come to you to come to you way easier. So if you're a manifester, you will get urges to do things. You have the biggest aura of all the types. You're here to lead. You're here to, you know, get people. Come on, everyone, let's do this thing. And you're the one that's leading them. You're the one that is deciding where you're leading people to. You're not asking everyone else where they want to go. You're the one that's like, this is what I want to do. This is what I want to share with people or help people. And this is where we're going. And if you want to come with me, come with me. Um, and if you don't, then that's fine. You know, that's the energy of a manifesto. You're not for everyone, but the people who are going to get you are going to be with you. And that's great. But you're here to rally energy. You're here to get things moving and you're here to lead those people to do that thing. So you will get urges to do things. And it really is for you about following your urges. What do you get an urge to do? And an urge really is something that's like, I don't really know why I want to do this thing, but I just, I know I, I'm going to, this is the thing that I want to do. There's no logical, maybe there's no logical reason. There's just a, an urge to do something. And as with all things, if the mind gets in the way, the mind isn't, you know, really for making decisions in human design. It's for all the other things. If if you have an urge to do something and the mind suddenly goes, oh, well, you can't do that. Then you've kind of gone, you know, that you don't really need any other reason than your urge to do the thing. You don't need to try and rationalize it or this is why I need to do it or talk yourself out of it. The urge is what you're listening to and following. Now, your strategy is to inform because you're going to get these urges and they're, they're, they're there. And so you might have an urge to go out and buy some chocolate and one evening and you're out the door before you know it. And everyone else in your house is going, where, where, have, they, where have they gone? Huh? What's, she, what's she doing? He or she doing? So you, you need to inform because it saves a lot of confusion. It's all going on in your mind. You know what you're doing. I'm just going out for some chocolate. No big deal. But no one else knows what you're doing. So when you say to everybody, hey, I'm just nipping out for some chocolate. Does anyone want anything? Everyone's OK with that. And they know where you're going. And they know that you'll be back in 10 minutes or whatever. And all is good. So it's the same if you're in business. Tell your tribe what you're up to, you know, tell them where, what direction you've sudden, suddenly decided to go in or change or whatever it is. It doesn't always have to be a sudden change in direction, but whatever your thing is, inform because it just saves a lot of confusion. So say if you are in business and you suddenly decide to go in a different direction or do something different and you don't inform your clients, then they're going to be, or Instagram followers or whatever it is, they're going to be like, what's happened all of a sudden and there's, they're going to be confused but if you put a post out and say oh, actually this is what I'm doing and this is the direction that I'm going in now and you know follow me if you want that's great they know what's happening the other thing really manifests and it's not really a strategy thing it's just to watch out for is your energy is going to come in peaks and troughs because you have a motor center connected to the throat, which makes you a manifester, but you don't have the sacral center defined, which means that your energies will come in fits and start starts. So you really, for a manifest, it's really important to recognize, how do you recognize your urges? Do you recognize them or are you too burnt out to be able to tune into anything? So, you know, try, it's a really, it's not a good, you know, it's, it's a really good thing to do as a manifester is to understand you know when do I get these urges do I tend to get them when I'm well rested do I tend to get them when I'm out walking do I honor them do I follow them do I allow them to happen or do I use my mind to shut them down you know following your urges and then informing your that is 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 your strategy how you make things happen manifestors are the only ones of all the types really that can just get an urge and go and do you know most of us the rest of us I'm a manifesting generator we have to wait for something we have to um, either wait for an invitation if you're a projector for manifest and generations generous as they have to wait for the universe to put something in front of them so you guys I'm always a bit envious because you can just get the urge and go do yeah and do do <laughs> because um, that's how you use that's how you're meant to use your energy in the world for most ease and flow so hope that makes sense let me know if you've got any questions and if you want to book a reading then I'll pop the link to the website below uh, and you can find the whole picture your, 
from your chart, your from a reading, your strategy is, you know, one the entry point into human design, but it's actually the most important. Um, one of the most important things, really, I would say. Uh, but there's a lot, lot more in a reading. So I'll pop the link to the website in the comments and any questions, just let me know. Bye for now.